What's up fellow invaders? Invaders Unite here, back with another uh, Elden Ring invasion video. You already know what time it is. G.O.M. Shang. What's up man? See they're uh, in the Grand Cloister. That's pretty sick. Hmm. It looks like some of the pests down there are dead, so maybe they're down here. Let's go check. Yeah, see, I, I took a little bit of a break on the Elden Ring videos, but I'm not going to lie. Playing yesterday got me back into the mood to invade some people, so. We're going to get a few more videos, which is nice. <laughs> this is just my blood-soaked madman build. Light armor with barely any resistances, but you do mad damage. <laughs> Give him a little clap there for the mage. Bringer of bears, what's up, man? Oh, and there's uh, G.O.M. Schwong himself. What's up, bro? I see you got a sword of night and flame and a turtle shield. Nice. And Radon. Uh, Weebu Radon. That's always fun. Why are you guys so afraid? There's plenty of space between us and the pests that are still alive, so let's fight. I just need to remember to not run in there like a crazy man. Because that's what I usually do is just run in there and start attacking, but I have too light armor for that. Oh, got him! <laughs> got him with the old Cestus parry. Didn't expect that, did you? Ouchie. Alright. <laughs> Jeez. I love the Cestus. My favorite parry tool, for sure. It's just so much fun slapping somebody's sword out of the way. Especially if it's like a weapon of the gods. It just fe I'm sure it makes someone feel like a chump, dude. Oh, your weapon of the gods got slapped out of the way. And now you're dead. G-O-M. What's up, bro? I ain't gonna let you do me like that. Get back here. Oh. Oh, you ran out of stamina. That sucks. Good game. Good game, boys. <laughs> that was fun. Man, I've been encountering a lot of very high-level phantoms recently. Those guys were fine, but there's some people that are just like, geez, man. That's a high-level phantom. Uh, let's see here. Nocron. Let's see what we can do here. Zom track. Oh, they're getting ready. Let's see if we can get a backstab. Oh, he's trying to buff everyone. Yes, there we go. D, get out of here, bro. Zom track. What's good, bro? I see you. Three people for that boss fight. I thought that gargoyle fight was easy. Come here. Oh, got him. <laughs> oh man, that's the host. Good game, guys. It's over. It's over, buddy. Your host got. What was that? Unlocked 180 Cestus Perry. That's awesome. Good game, boys. God, that was a big nothing. That was a quick one. Caleb. Oh. We got a guy with Eleanor's pull blade and an extremely over leveled guy with two Bloodhound's fangs. That's always fun. Freshina Wolf and Evil Bunny Lord 12. What's up, guys? Here's our uh, madman other madman fashion but you know it's more like Perry Jesus is what it reminds me of oh we didn't get that one let's see if we can get the follow up oh there we go man it, yeah it kinda sucks you have to if you see a high level phantom make sure you do like a dagger swap when you get the crit because if you don't and you don't kill them it just feels terrible man because they have so much health and so much resistances that they can take a hit and then run away like I don't know. It seems like high level players are easier to parry because they're not afraid to just like randomly swing because they're like, oh, well, this guy's lower level than me, so I can take his hits no problem. And if we trade, you know, he's the one that's going to get hurt. And then that's when you do the parry. You know what I mean? Go ahead and kill the dog, buddy. I'm not going to let a stone steal my glory. All right, let's go. Oh, you're going to heal? Oh, that's lame. All right. Maybe your Bloodhound's Fang buddy would have healed too, but he didn't really have time to. Ooh, ouch. Jump attack. Man, Eleanor's pull blade, the actual hits on it, don't seem like they do a ton of damage, but man, that bleed buildup is insane. And the Ash of War is insane too. I'm surprised that wasn't a good parry. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, it's super rare. It's like, oh, you kill the Phantom and now the connection gets worse. That makes no sense. But maybe we can backstab him. Let's try. Let's try and give him an old stabby stab. As you guys know, I'm a fisherman. <laughs> oh, gotcha. Good game, evil bunny. Man, if you get that backstab or or uh, the uh, crit, any kind of crit with that lightning misery cord, it's game over, dude. 
it's game over. Even if somebody's full, fully HP, if they're just like a straight up vit gouge build or whatever, they're still getting wrecked. It doesn't even really matter. Forged in steel. What's up, bro? Um, this is a area I do not like to invade in because of all the booby traps and shit, but we'll make something happen. I've never been a man to run, you know what I mean? If it, or like leave because I don't like the area. I would rather just fight and die, but you know, that's just how I operate. All right, let's see. It's like if you're going to die anyways, you might as well go down swinging, you know what I'm saying? Forged in steel and his friend... Sat from 935. They're both mages. Huh, great. Great. Oh, mages with no health. Oh, you got roll caught. Damn, that sucks. Forged in steel. I see you got some black flame for me. Hell yeah. That's cool. Oh, madness. Man, people love those madness spells. Let, let me show you who the real Shabriri is, bro. Who the real mad god is. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. Mad God time. Speaking of Mad God, that's a movie that I've been wanting to see really bad. I want to check that out. Looks pretty cool. Alright, well, let's get back into the fight. Sorry for my digression. Forged in steel, but it's S-T-E-E-L-E, -E -E, like your last name. That's cool. Kind of, actually, it's kind of cringe, but it's cool. Hell yeah. Uh, you got your staff, your, um, what is that? Did Death Prince's staff or whatever. So you got a bunch of spells that, you know, follow me. Oh, that's great. Let's jump over that. <laughs> that's funny. It's so great how you can jump those skulls. That's hilarious. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Maybe we can try and get a parry on him. He's got a thrusting sword, and they're pretty easy to parry, so... Let's see what we can do. Oh, you almost got me. Man, that doesn't do very much damage. Oh, I guess he's relying on the frostbite proc. I guess that makes sense. Man, that Ash of War is such bullshit. Oh, there's no way. Yeah, that there's no way he's getting that. <laughs> Damn. Maybe we can parry him off the ground. Oh, gotcha. That's how a crit is really done, my mage friend. 180 parry <laughs> from the ground. That's great. Uh, sorry, you had to get the point down there, bro, for all the tracking magic. Alright, let's see. Gumino, host of fingers. What's up, bro? How you doing, Gumino? Whatever your name is. I'm gonna call you G. Let's see. Where are you at? Oh, there we go. What's up, G? I see you, bro. I see you. Um, doggo face. Doggo face guy with the shield. Hell yeah. I'm a uh, swordsman. A uh, undead swordsman. You know what I mean? I only wear rotten rags. I really hope that happens in the DLC. Like, I'm tired of all the crazy, like, gold weapons that are ornate and beautiful and shit. If they have Death Blight in the DLC, I'm gonna be really excited, because that means there's gonna be a bunch of armor and weapons that are, like, you know, disgusting rags. Like, I hope that's what we get, like, black, disgusting rags. That would be awesome. That's the only armor I'd ever use. Some stuff to change your appearance would be sick, too. Like some, uh, like, uh... You know, maybe a ring. A real hornet ring, which would, would be sick, like, if they changed the animations. I would rather have that than the damage, to be honest. Oh, no parry. Damn. Thought that one would be good. Oh, we got a guy who's going to do the um, counterattacks. Nice. So he's going to wait, block, counterattack. Wait, block, counterattack. Well, if, let's, let's try a different tactic. I got something for you if you want to do that. Oh, <laughs> bad time. Ooh, gotcha. Good game. I got the old reverse quick step backstab on you. <laughs> that sucks. Good game though, buddy. Cool build. You don't see that weapon a lot. Oh, what's up, dude? How you doing? You got two bloody helluses? Well, let's go ahead and give you a parry with the Cestus. Ouchie! Uh, security knight, huh? Ugh. Maybe uh, you weren't so secure there, buddy. Wow. That was like an overgeared player at this level. That's crazy. Good game, though. <laughs> Jeez. So many people don't know about the iframes. That's so nuts. So you just have to, like, wait patiently. Uh, temp, a uh, bunch of numbers. What's up, bro? Sometimes you just have to wait patiently for them to make a mistake, and then, you know, you go for that parry, and you got him. 
if anyone wants to see like a video uh showing my favorite setup parries or like i can do hard swaps and clothing swaps and stuff like that if anybody wants to see that or wants like a tutorial on how to do something like that uh let me know and i'll make a video i'm definitely down to um help increase the skill of my subscribers you know what i mean i mean i don't know i mean there could be people that are subscribed to me that are mad lads you know what i mean i'm sure there are but for the ones of you that are not which is like you know not a big deal you got to learn you got to start somewhere i'd be definitely willing to uh make a little tutorial video so just let me know oh that's kind of cool magic and fire curve swords dude dual curve swords is such a strong build man but there is one good thing about it. It's easy to parry. Oh, got him. Ouchie. <laughs> Ouchie. Got him with the old Cestus parry. Oh. Blasphemous Blade. What? Why wasn't that a backstab? That's crazy. That's crazy. It's already over, bro. You lost. Spamming L2, of course. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. This fight is great, dude. These fucking guys. I've almost never met a more cowardly pair of dudes in my entire life. Or at least in this game. Maybe not in my entire life, but in the game. Armed Capitalist, what's up, bro? Um, and you've got, you have a bonk stick. That's cool. And the other guy has, what, a Zweihander and a staff? So he's a mage? Oh, I was gonna wave and say hello to you. And you're just gonna throw fire pots at me? That's not very nice. Let's put down a warming stone. I don't even really have anything that I can attack them with. You know what I mean? I'm literally just melee. I don't have any spells. I don't have any... I don't have a bow. I don't have a great bow. A jar cannon. Nothing. I don't have anything ranged, basically. So, what these guys are probably going to end up doing is they're going to keep shooting at me or whatever. And then they're going to try and kill all the enemies down there. So, that's pretty great. Hopefully we can get them down here to fight, because I know these guys stand no chance against me in a fair fight. So, that's hilarious. You guys don't stand a chance two-on-one, bro. That's why you're doing this. Chump. I don't have any freezing pots, so that's unfortunate. Or I could use those. But, yeah, we got two. We got some chumple stiltskins. <laughs> that's great. That is great. Let's see if we can switch over to our kukris. Maybe we can throw something throw something he doesn't expect it oh. those are so slow the flight speed of those are so slow I need to buy some more fan daggers so uh, from patches because I ran out oh man here we go meteors 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 dude I <laughs> every mage that is like I don't I don't want to deal with you they just spam meteors it's hilarious ouch <laughs> that's funny you got the kukri hit that is great Throw, in, throw some more meteors so I can kukri hit you again. Oh, what? That's crazy. It's stuck in the fucking <laughs> wood. That's not good. Oh, more knives. Maybe I could have got out like some crystal throwing knives or something, but... Let's go ahead and buff our weapon. Yeah, I was trying to play without using an Ash of War that often. Um, or mostly, like, I wanted to make it as difficult on myself as possible. You know what I mean? I have, like, 17 poise or something like that. And then my Ash of War doesn't do damage. So I wanted to try that. And, uh, it worked pretty well. Yeah, get down here, bro. Come fight me fair and square. Well, it, even, it won't even be a, a fair fight because it'll be 2v1. But I don't even care. Just come down here and fight me. You're gonna burn through all of your consumables. Which will be hilarious. Get down here, bro. Come on, coward. <laughs> I usually don't talk shit to people when I'm invading, because it's like I invaded them. But these guys are fucking cowards, bro. They want me to be as weak as possible so the fight can be as unfair as possible. Let's go ahead and Sacred Order again. Pretty fun. I like Sacred Order, actually. It, does a, it adds a decent little amount of damage, too, really. Super fun. So I got Lightning, Holy, and Bleed on this sword. Which is fun. Get parried, chump. Goodbye. Get the fudge out of here, armed capitalist, and your coward ass. Alright, let's see. Elden Ring has no room for cowards, bro. Let's see. Oh, we got a spy. <laughs> you think this guy... Yeah, see? He saw his friend got parried, so now he's gonna spam jump attacks. What a surprise, dude. He's got that bubble. So, 
I'm gonna have to be careful with that because any trade that I make, he will win until that bubble is popped. So, we'll have to pop his bubble. So, like, if I go into trade with my weapon and he has that bubble, he's gonna win the trade no matter what. Oh, didn't get it that time, damn. I'm a fisherman, <laughs> and if you don't try it first, try again, and you may succeed. You know what I mean? Let's throw a cuckoo real quick, pop his bubble. There we go. Alright, come here, bro. We're gonna, let's, let's get him to think we don't know what we're doing. Oh, got him! Ouchie. Come here, bro. Come get this dagger in the chest. <laughs> gotcha! Alright, everybody. Well, if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate everyone for watching. And uh, get out there and take some heads. And let the blood of hosts flow, baby.